Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video includes the mechanism, kinetics and examples of uncompetitive enzyme inhibition. The name itself indicates there is no competition between the inhibitor and substrate to bind with the enzyme. So that's why it is called as uncompetitive enzyme inhibition. To understand the mechanism of uncompetitive enzyme inhibition, so let us discuss a simple example. So here you can see tiger, it is waiting for the prey to come into its zone. Once the prey comes into its zone, then the tiger will attack. In the same way, in uncompetitive enzyme inhibition, the inhibitor binds only to the enzyme substrate complex. So that means the inhibitor waits until substrate binds with the enzyme. So once the ES complex is formed, then only it will bind with the enzyme. So inhibitor binds only with the ES complex. It will not bind with the free enzyme. So here the inhibitor does not have any affinity for the free enzyme. So for the uncompetitive inhibitors, its binding site is created only on interaction of the enzyme and substrate. Like competitive enzyme inhibition, this uncompetitive inhibition, it cannot be overcome by the addition of more substrate. That means even if we increase the concentration of the substrate, this inhibition cannot be reversed. Coming to kinetics of uncompetitive enzyme inhibition, here both velocity maximum and Km are decreased. Now why velocity maximum is decreased? So when the ESI complex is formed, it leads to decreased availability of functionally active enzymes. So ES is functionally active, it can form products. But when ESI complex is formed, it leads to decreased availability of active enzymes. So whenever the active enzymes concentration decreases, then it affects its conversion of substrates into products. In simple, it is nothing but whenever the availability of functionally active enzymes decreases, the velocity maximum also decreases. Now coming to the reason for why Km value is decreased in case of uncompetitive enzyme inhibition. So we know that the uncompetitive enzyme inhibitor binds only to the ES complex. It cannot bind with the free enzyme. So here, the requirement for this inhibitor is, it requires only ES complex. So because of this, it favors the binding of substrate to the enzyme. So whenever it favors the binding of substrate to the enzyme, that means the affinity of enzyme towards the substrate is increased. So whenever the affinity is increased, the Km value will be decreased. Coming to examples of uncompetitive inhibitors. The most common herbicide that is glyphosate, which is also known as Roundup, is an uncompetitive inhibitor of enzyme which is involved in the biosynthetic pathways for aromatic amino acids. Another example is phenylalanine inhibits the placental alkaline phosphatase by uncompetitive inhibition. 